and welcome to the watch list. Medicus Pharma has published its phase one clinical study for skin cancer treatment. Joining me is Executive Chairman and CEO Raza Bokhari. Raza, nice to have you. Thank you so much, uh, Karina, for having me on your show. Well, let's get started and tell us a little bit about the company and the work you're doing in the field of skin cancer treatment. Indeed, uh, uh, Medicus Pharma is a company uh, that uh, listed on Toronto Stock Exchange in the fall of last year with the stock ticker of MDCX and also currently began uh, uh, trading on Frankfurt Stock Exchange with the stock ticker of N46 is a, a holding company focused on uh, identifying, acquiring, and accelerating clinical stage novel biosciences companies. Our lead flagship company is focused on skin cancer, uh, particularly basal cell carcinoma, which is the most common cancer uh, on the planet and the fastest growing cancer uh, that uh, it has a very big market size of uh, $20 billion plus. And we are focused on bringing a novel, non-invasive method to treat skin cancer using patented technology coming out of Carnegie Mellon and University of Pittsburgh. So we have been at it for some time, and now we are uh, at the cusp of uh, uh, picking up speed and hopefully getting uh, an approval sometime uh, sooner rather than later. All right, and tell us about your study findings and why this is an important step in the progress of the company. The company had uh, uh, actually has published its phase one study, which was primarily a safety and tolerability study. And also as a secondary endpoint, I uh, was also meant to demonstrate uh, and review clinical response. Uh, we are very happy that all 13 participants in the study uh, demonstrated safety and tolerability of the cancer chemotherapeutic agent toxirubicin delivered at the site of the lesion to treat basal cell carcinoma. So it was demonstrated that it is safe and it is well tolerated with no serious adverse side effects or any side effects. In addition, what is uh, most remarkable out of the study, there's a secondary endpoint. The study also demonstrated that six of those 13 patients also demonstrated complete clinical response so that the participants that had nodular type of basal cell carcinoma, which is the 70% uh, of basal cell carcinoma, is also showed that there was complete clinical response with no relapse on recurrence. So both of these findings uh, are very important and an important milestone uh, for us to now consider to be considered to be a relatively de-risk asset. And what is the next step in the path to FDA approval, and why should investors get excited? Indeed, so uh, the drug development is a is a tricky business. It is an expensive business, and also it is like a snake going up the ladder, and then suddenly at some stage you fail and. Uh, uh, you are out of luck. Uh, however, when companies uh, like ours uh, get to a point where they have demonstrated safety and tolerability, and also in the uh, safety study have also as a secondary endpoint demonstrated efficacy in six patients, that gives a high level of confidence and excitement that there is a high, there is a reasonably high confidence that we will have a successful phase two proof of concept study. So that is what we are actually engaged in. Earlier uh, in the beginning of this year, we submitted a uh, file with the FDA, a, uh, our clinical design uh, to get final comments to initiate a phase two efficacy study as a primary endpoint. Uh, there are 60 patients uh, that are uh, Expected to be randomized. It is a, a randomized double-blinded study with three arms. 
And it's a very efficient study. It is designed very well. It is designed in a manner that uh, it could get further FDA alignment as we advance through the patient recruitment, that this becomes a bigger trial, uh, a pivotal trial, and may get a waiver from a very expensive phase three trial. So this is uh, a, for us uh, as uh, as representing the company and also uh, a substantial investor, I myself as the CEO have over $2.6 million invested in the company. But this is a point where if there are biotech life sciences investors, this is the point where you uh, start to pay attention and perhaps uh, uh, come under our umbrella. It's, it's, a, it's an exciting time for the, uh, for the company and for our uh, drug development program. Well, thank you so much, Raza, for the update. For The Watchlist, I'm Karina Robertson.